Okay, today's pretty quick, super tactical, educational series. How to bow. I'm just kidding. It's the English language. Uh, we're going to talk about bows. Uh, you ever wonder, maybe this is for males, maybe females need this too, but I feel like a lot more females know this trick than males. Uh, I shot weddings uh, for several years, hundreds and hundreds of weddings, and I could bustle a dress and do a lot of things. And uh, at the end of the day, I learned one thing. Tying a bow is the difference between your shoe looking like this and your shoe looking like this. Do you ever wonder why a bow is like this versus this? Okay, it's simple. Let's walk through this. Let's real quick. Sorry, my shoes are dirty. The first when we tie a bow, right? We start here and let's go back to this. We do this little thing. I'm a right over, right, uh, right over left kind of guy. We do that first thing. Now our brain wants us to do the same thing when we tie the bow, but that's exactly opposite. We gotta go opposite of what you do. So I'm gonna go right over left. My brain wants me to go um, the same way, which makes the bow go like this. However, if you go right over left, and then you go left over right, you're reversing the knots so they actually have harmony. So the bow goes sideways. So here's the deal. I didn't know that for a long time. And you would be surprised how many times I was at a wedding and somebody needed to tie a bow on the back of a, usually it was like a flower girl's dress or something. And he'd be like, Eric, you're amazing. I'm actually only half man, half amazing, but anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Now you know how to tie a bow.